bringing in just was couldn't tell you that man hey what's up everybody welcome to southern life on today's video we're going to be exploring the clean and wholesome town of laverne right outside of nashville tennessee is this beautiful wholesome little town oh look how wholesome they got a play place at the McDonald's? For kids. You just don't see that anymore. No. Well, let me tell you. This town right here, over there in Nashville, they got all types of crime and all types. Of, you want to be out here on the outskirts where it's nice and clean and safe. Yeah. They got a good economy here. You're right near. You're, you're not right in Nashville. So, on this trip today, we're going to explore this little country town here right outside of Nashville. There's a lot of jobs here. In fact, I just got a notification from uh, from Indeed earlier oh, today. Yeah, what were they, I saw what, that one. What, what, who was hiring? Uh, the police department wanted 14 new officers. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of new jobs. Yeah, it, it shows they really want to keep the community safe. They're just just—they're not going to put up with all that big city crime out here like they're doing oh, in no. Nashville down there. they got to push it out to Nashville. They don't want no crime out here. It's good that the police department's hiring. Those are good jobs. Let's run out down there and see... Let's see what their facility looks like. That's the difference between small little towns like this. You know, they're always going to make sure their community is safe, well patrolled. There ain't going to be no dibbly dabbing around here. It's a clean, safe community. You know, it's different about when you get out in the big city, people are all hawking their horns. They're all rude. They ain't got no values. They ain't got no morals or principles. Come out here, these little towns out here. Notice how that car stopped at that red light right there. And that's what they'd have blown right through it. But not out here. It's just a different type of folk in these little small towns. You can just wave to strangers out here. Mm -hmm. Hang on to the burns down there. I tell you what. There's a lesson to Demon Jones right there. But other than that, it's just clean town. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so beautiful out here. I tell you what. International Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was on this morning. I was on Indeed, and they're like, the Laverne Police Department needs 14 new police officers. I was like, wow, man, these people, they're hiring everywhere out they here. They really value safety. They even got the Scholastic Company. They're to tell you what. They make books for children. They make, I tell you, they're trying to educate America. This town right here is a, is a, a, a blueprint for what America needs to be. This is the community that makes the books that children read are printed right here. Oh, there's even a farmer's co-op. Look at that. You go down there and get some eggplants. Lots of eggplants. There's libraries. Turn right onto Murfreesboro Road. We're turning right on Murfreesboro. Yeah. And you can right down the road from Murfreesboro. That's oh, a diverse yeah. community. The the home prices here are four percent below the national average. So you get to you get the advantages of living in one of the best cities in the country, metropolitan areas. But again, it's not the jobs, it's not the schools. Turn right it's not Road. the ability to be in Nashville, one of the greatest cities in America, that makes this place special. It's not even all the growth and all the investment going in that makes this place special. What makes Laverne special is the clean and wholesome people that are in this community. They would never do anything un 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 unmoral or uncleansly. They're just good old country folks with good morals and good principles, and that's what makes a good community. It's not the investment, it's not the new buildings, it's not all the scholastic books we're printing for the children to learn from us from. It's one simple thing, it's the values and morals that this community is known for. It's a clean, wholesome place. Look at the campground right there. It's gonna be overhead on the left. All right, let's run on down there. They're hiring at the police department. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a lot of new jobs. They opened up a lot of possibilities for people to start a new career in law enforcement. Yeah. Look at that Corvette right there. Is that a Corvette? Turn left. Um, VBS is straight. Turn left right here? Yeah. Oh, they got City Hall here too. Nice. That's what I'm talking yeah. about, man. Continue straight, then turn right. Keep going down. Got the SWAT team down there. Nice. It means they keep everything really oh, safe. Oh, this is these people. They're 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 not. You ain't gonna find uh, people. You, you can't go any further. Then your destination will be on the right. Police vehicles only. You can turn there though. Uh, where's their police? Oh, here we go. Your police vehicle here. Is on the right. mm -hmm. Can't go that way. Laverne's police department right there. Got that Laverne. Let's see where I can turn around here. Restricted area. 
can't be back here? No. Let's leave. Let's get the crap out of here. Mm -hmm. This is the Laverne Police Department. It's not bad. Yeah. So turn around. Visitor parking only, so we can be here. Oh, yeah. We're visitors. We're visiting their town. Oh, yeah. We're at the Laverne Police Department down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got everything here. McDonald's. They got Papa John next door. All right. You know, on the north side of the city, there's like a residential area I want to check out where like normal folks live. Okay. All right. Well, that's a lot of new job opportunities right there. I tell you what, they're hiring. Oh, and there's a Publix down the street. They got a Publix. Yes. Oh man. I Do you want to go there? Let's go there. Take me to the Publix. Left or right? You gotta go that's to the right, love. All right. Turn right onto US Look at 7 all these West jobs. Park there's a big old plant up there too. I bet they're hiring too. Probably for a different reason. Yeah. But uh. Tell you what, man. It's just clean, wholesome people out oh, here. Oh, there's so. a Panera. Yeah. That's some healthy food, so you know it's wholesome. Well, these people are just good country folks. You, you're not gonna find, you're not gonna find good, clean, wholesome people like you find here in Tennessee. Oh, there's a KFC. You're just not gonna find good, wholesome people in America like no. you'll find in Middle Tennessee. These are just some good folks out here. And they got a Waffle House and a in a barbecue place. Look at that, man. That campground down there. I'm gonna tell you what, music sit down there. Mm -hmm. You're just not gonna find good, clean people like yeah. you will in Middle Tennessee. These people the out here. Walgreens is the cleanest one I've seen, and they got the Vanderbilt Clinic there too. Look at that. Good jobs, I tell you, man. It's just the, the possibilities here are endless. Take it right here. No, keep going. You said you wanted to go to the Publix, my love. We don't want to end up in the next town over, are we? What's that sign say right there? Ah, Metropolitan. Oh, you're no longer, now you're in Nashville. See, you're not even in the right town anymore. You just got to pay attention. Yeah. They got a Kroger. See, they got a, so we got to go back the other way. Yes. So you got to pay attention to stuff like that, boy. You got to make sure you're actually in the right town. You don't want to, you don't, you don't want Nashville to get credit. For something that Laverne's in. You know? Oh, yeah. Keep it right here. So you're right outside of Nashville. They have Amazon Warehouse. They do have an Amazon Warehouse. So there's warehouse. a lot of jobs here. There's a lot of jobs here. And a here. Saks Fifth Avenue But I'll tell you, but I, but, 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 let, me, let me slow you down. The most enjoyable and rewarding job that you can have is in law enforcement. Definitely. A law enforcement job is rewarding and enjoyable. The rewards that come from serving your community are not rewards you're going to get from other jobs. I'll tell you that right now. You really got to put your life on the line out there. They got a Walmart. A very rewarding line of work. Let me see here. You're not really paying too much attention on this thing. No, not everything's perfect in Laverne. La 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 Laverne down there. Oh, you got nice. Let's grab this road right here. When we get to this intersection, go north. What? And I'll take us right into the residential area. See that road that goes to the road and goes north? Yes. Get me up there. Okay. Not everything's perfect in a small town. I'm sure if we, you know, if we're looking at the news, you might see a bad thing here or there. Nothing's perfect. Head southeast on Murfreesboro Road toward Jordan Drive. Continue on Murfreesboro Road for three quarters of a mile. Wholesome country folks out here. Nice people. You know, it's just like you run down to big cities and people are hawking the horn at each other. And I haven't seen a subway with a drive through in a These long are time. warm, loving people. I was looking through the reviews of this town. Somebody said something along the lines of their family member, their co workers were as close to them as family members. And I was like, why? Well, you, don't, nice. you don't hear that everywhere. You're not going to hear people say something like, my co-workers are like family. We're that close. You just, you're just you not going to hear people say stuff like that about towns. Yes. You know, it takes a real... Is this it right here? No, it's the next one, though. That's right. You're just not going to hear people say stuff like that about a small town. It literally said, I feel as close to my co-workers as I do to my wife and kids. It's just incredible out here how warm and loving these people... Some people say it's too much. Yeah. No doubt. 
No doubt, man. I tell you, just... That's the thing, man. You run up in these big cities, people are all nasty and rude. When you come to a place like Laverne, Tennessee, folks are just loving. loving They'll take you right generous. in. They'll give you the shirt off their back and literally give you the shirt off their back. Oh, yes. These are the types of folks that will give you the shirt off their back. Literally. Often. They're just good, loving people. They got a Sonic. Yep, just a wholesome place, I tell you. And they got US-41. A Papusseria. Look at that Papusseria down there. Yeah. They definitely left. got a Papusseria in this town, I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Love here? Yeah. Right. Los Aguaveros yes, the down there. Just the name of the road, Stones River. Uh -huh. Tell you what, man, just a good town. Cheetos truck making the delivery. Notice how the people aren't honking their horns at each other. I have not seen one person honk a horn. It's just good, warm, loving people. Yeah. Loving people. Mm -hmm. Everybody, when you move to this town, your your neighbors and your coworkers. Are gonna become as close as family members to you. Oh yeah. It's not a big deal. You can drive in the wrong way if you want to. Nobody's gonna hock the horn at your board. Oh, they're nice. Cat. They accept EBT right here. Oh wow. That's a good sign. Right? That's a good sign. Somebody hit that pole right there. And that's a nice school. You know, sometimes they struggle to drive. I don't know what. It's a school. See how they slow down for the children. Yes, they slow for the children. There's a lot of children in this town. Hopefully, and these children, they're all, there's no dibble dabbing around here. They're all, you can DNA test every last one of them. They're all, they're all, you know, there's no, nobody's raising somebody else's kids around here. These people have morals and values. I guarantee you DNA those kids, you'll get a match for both parents on every single one of them. Yes. If you're, if you're, if your kids are in one of these school districts here. Unless you, you got when some you nice folks that adopted other children. Of course, yes. honey. We know that. We know that. Yeah. But in general, if you're picking up your kids in a Rutherford County school system, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry if they're your kids or the neighbor's kids. You know they're your kids because you're living in a community with values and principles. Yes. If you're picking up your kids from school here in the Rutherford County school system out here, you can look at that kid and say, boy, that boy looks just like me. Not like the neighbor across the street or her co-workers. Mm -hmm. None of that stuff right there. Look at these hard-working men out here. In Alabama, they did not, they have worked hard-working man. Hard work. Thank you, amigo. Mucho trabajo. Thank you. We need people like that coming here to work. <laughs> Welcome in a warm community. Good, hard-working people, man. I tell you what. Look at the lowrider right there. Oh, is that like a bunch of lowriders? What is up with all the lowriders? Mm. Right. Is this some nice house? It's just oh my middle. What happened? I saw my old house. In Alabama? Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. People in Alabama just don't have the same values as these people do here, though. I love how they got trailers in here. Yeah. All right. So, uh, this doesn't look as fancy as, uh, you, no. you know, it's not a fancy place. It really ain't. Mm -hmm. This is just average American person. Living the average American life, doing. Yeah. Is that a Caprice? Mm -hmm. Caprice. Keep driving. Keep driving. We have oh, a YouTube it's... video to make. It's me. So. Look at that Caprice. Drive. I could just see that Caprice on 24s. Is it for sale? No. You're just not going to find a Caprice like that in Florida. No. What a beauty. Absolute beauty. Mm -hmm. Please don't buy it. No. All right, so what's next, woman? What time are we going to next? We've... After this town? There we go. Here we go. It's just so nice to see middle America, you know? A town in middle America. I'm just going to let the bus pass. There's no rush. You can go. you got more important job. You go ahead, sir. Your job is just that much more important than what I'm doing right now. See, that's America right there. You can stop. You don't have to be a jerk. 
you can stop and let a bus go before you. They got they got much. But see that thing about these little places, common courtesy, dignity, and respect. Turn right onto you respect Road. people in your community, and you respect the jobs that you do for your community, and it just leads to a better place. All right, what's next, Catherine? Where are we going to next? We got to decide what we're doing here. I thought we were going to go down the road there. To where? Huntsville. Huntsville? Yes. All right, let's do it. Um, so we're done with Nashville? Yes. All right. It is what it is. Let's go. GPS Huntsville, Alabama. Head east on David's Way. Continue on David's Way for Alabama. Then we'll hop on over to George and try to stay near Atlanta tonight. You know what? I would rather not stay in Atlanta. When you stay in those big cities like Atlanta, it's just different type of folks, man. I don't have anything against city people. I just like towns like this, where it's good old, just good, hard-working, small-town people. The values and the morals are different. Just a different type of place. Yes, a different type of place. That's right. Get, give me some uh, some news articles out. How far are we from Huntsville? Um, wow. Yes, ma'am. Um, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. You'll be fine. Just read some. Get some news articles. Uh, Laverne's ex cop admit. Read that right there. Are we waiting in a school line here? Because we're not we're not picking kids up. Misconduct. Hold on, ma'am. Is this line for picking up kids? Because we're not picking up anybody. Uh, possibly. Okay, can I leave here? Because we're, we're not going to wait in line. Picking yeah. up, we're not picking up anybody. That's right. All right. Yeah. I hope these folks don't mind us just driving through here like this because we're not trying to go to school. Yeah. We don't have any kids here. Let's just go this way. It's a, it's a line to pick up kids from school. Uh, we don't oh, have any kids what, here. Uh, just find any, whatever's trending right now, just find me any random news article. Five officers fired. Three suspended? Eight officers. Um, uh, this, this, Misconduct. Oh, wow. Well, they're not going to put up with any... These folks here, they're not going to put up with misbehaviors. The thing... The, before you read the article. The thing is, around here, they're not going to put up with the stuff that other police departments put up with. All right? So, if they weren't clocking in on time or if they were, you know, picking up their kids for school while they were on the clock, they might get away with doing stuff like that in other police departments. But little towns like this, they're not going to put up with that. Yeah, it was... Left or right here, Cody? Just You're gonna left. go left. All right. We're not gonna wait in the school line. We're not picking kids up here. Head west on David's Way toward Floyd Mayfield Drive. Then turn right on Floyd hours from, Mayfield Drive. We'll get to go through Murfreesboro. We'll get to go through Shelbyville and Fayetteville. That's great. That's two more times we can knock out the way down there. Yes. All right. All right, so what, what type of misconduct? They just weren't clocking in right or they were... Uh, oh, let me right. guess. Let me guess. Head they. South on Floyd Mayfield Drive toward Ronnie Irwin Lane. I know how these police are. In 800 feet, turn right onto they, Hamilton they and were, Drive. They weren't being the best police officers they could. You could definitely say that, but no. They were sleeping turn with right each other. Drive, then turn left onto Stones River Road. Amongst each other, not with one person. Free daughter, okay, because you, you're not really making any sense. Uh, someone was sleeping with other people. Read the article. You're not. You're, I don't want vague information. If you're gonna read a news article, I want you to read it to the T. Now, what did it say? Head southwest on Floyd Mayfield uh, Drive. Sexual Floyd misconduct. In 500 feet, turn right wow. Top Thank lane. you for using a word that's turn not allowed right on YouTube. Lane. You could have not. <sighs> what, Catherine? You found the one word you should never say on YouTube and, and, and said it. In 800 feet, turn left onto Stones River Road. Read a news article. And again, we're, we we always find news articles in towns we go to because we don't turn want... Turn left onto Stones River Road. We want to give you an idea what type of things happen in these towns. So go ahead and just read a news article. If you have to say the S word, just say S word. S misconduct. S misconduct. Mm-hmm. Multiple members of the police department. Okay. Continue on Stones River Road. Well, they were probably Ohio. posting selfies on Facebook or something they weren't supposed to. You know how these little towns are? No, they were sleeping with them. Her? 
Yeah. There were seven of them. There couldn't have been seven guys in one shade. That, that's not even possible. Yeah, that's what was going on. Here in this town right here, right, right now? Yeah, they were sleeping. Seven of them? Yeah. No, you ain't reading that. Read it. I want you to read it to me because I don't think you're... I don't believe what you're saying makes any sense. I want you to read it to me. Because whatever you said made absolutely no sense. Like, I couldn't believe what you just read. Like, uh, This officer was fired for admitting to having multiple ass relations with multiple members of the police department. In a quarter mile, turn right onto... Are you sure it's the police department that was doing that? Yes. Multiple? Yes. Not like different people were doing it. Like, just one person was doing it? Yeah, with a bunch of people. Slow down. He's telling me to slow down. I'm sorry, sir. I, I really didn't realize we were in a school zone. Or he was clapping it. Like he was trying to say clap somebody. I don't know what he was trying to say. Mm -hmm. Waving. Left here? Right. 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 So, what, you're trying to tell me that one person... That don't even make any... That don't even shack out right. Unfortunately, this is a sad Let me read event. it. Let me read, I don't believe what you're telling me here. Officers were accused of performing acts while on duty inside city-owned property. A third allegation was in an explicit photo sent among co-workers. Is this here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that poor little girl? Oh, that poor little girl. All of them? Including this guy right here? Oh, that poor little girl. What, were they, what was she thinking? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just having a hard time comprehending this situation. Uh, yeah. All those guys in the photos there? Yes. Including that ugly one right there? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just having a really hard time understanding. That little girl right there. Yes. Dang old, every last one of those dudes? Yep. Including this dude right here? Yes. This guy looks like the guy at the dang Pakistani store down the road. He don't look very attractive to me. <laughs> look at this one. He looked like a dang bulldog down there. <laughs> and, uh, dang. He don't even look happy when he got his <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> he looks satisfied right there. The face <laughs> he's just looking <laughs> he's just smiling. <laughs> that poor girl, every last one of these guys. And there was more than just the photos. There's more. That poor girl. She must have been from a big city. There's no way she's from a small town. Oh my, that's just horrible. That wouldn't happen in Alabama. Well, there was that one. Well, I tell you what, they're doing a pretty good job with integration around here. She's got a Spanish guy, a white guy, two black guys. She didn't really. There's no racial tensions around here. I tell you what, they do there's yeah, a, I think she dissolved all of them. There's no racial tension in this town. I tell you what, that girl went through the whole color it's book down there. She went through the whole crayon box down there. I tell you what, <laughs> <laughs> that girl went through the whole crayon box down there. Oh, I tell you what, man. Uh, let me see here. She went through the whole crayon box. She got yellow, purple, brown. I think, I think a couple black crayons in here. That girl done went through the whole crayon box. Laverne. She I can't even believe this would happen in a small town like this. Let's see here in the news it happened. Multiple officers terminated. Reprimanded before. They were reprimanded before. <laughs> Not their first running with the law. <laughs> I tell you what, I just can't believe a small town like this would have something like that going down. You'd think these were just good old country folks doing a good old thing down there. I just, I'm sorry, I just can't believe this would happen here. I'm, I'm sorry. I, in a small town in middle America, it's just, that's just wrong. I can't even wrap my head around that girl. 
to about two feet tall and run through all those guys like that, I tell you what. But she probably didn't even have a husband. She was just lonely. Oh, she had a husband. She had a husband? Yep. But what was he doing the whole time? Apparently to her. <laughs> now, hold on. She had a husband. No, she ain't had a husband at home. She did. He's probably not from a good family like a priest. Like, uh, he's yeah. probably not a pastor's daughter, not like a son or daughter. He was. In a quarter mile, continue straight onto Walter Road. You're telling me this is a pastor's daughter in law? Yep. My goodness, what has happened to America? What, uh. Says her husband was a pastor's son? Yep. Okay. I tell you what, man, I damn twist plot twist right there. I didn't even think that'd do something like that right here. That's, really? that's just wrong. Continue on. I don't think he thought that either. Can you imagine? You, you're a resident here in this little country town. You're driving around, going to the grocery store. Yeah. And to think that inside your city hall, all these things were happening down there. Not one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> it's just like, dang old, dang old Bill, we're down there. Police department, we're hiring. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, that's a whole lot of love making down there. I think there must not be enough crime in this city when they got that much time on their hands. Oh, they've got more than enough time on their hands right there. That's how you know it's a safe town. The cops ain't got nothing to do around here. That's that's how you know it's a safe town. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, now hiring sign down there. Give a new meaning to the hiring sign down there. Yeah. And poor girl ain't gonna be able to get a job in this town now. She's gonna have to get one of the OnlyFan page or something. I don't know what she's gonna do now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ain't only fans down there, I tell you what, because I tell you what, man, ain't gonna be a preschool hiring nothing, thing like that no more around here, man. I tell you what, you gotta have to move down to Nashville or something, you ain't gonna be able to find a. I don't even think, I think that she's too noted natural at this point. I tell you what, poor girl gonna have to open only fans only down there, move to San Diego or something, because ain't gonna be able to find a job around here, no preschool or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna. Sawmill down there might hire her. <laughs> and those saw, a whole bunch of sawmill down there it might be like, dang. Tell you what, man, I'll bring a lot of workers to that company. <laughs> if you're somebody in town's hiring, this is a dang poultry plant or something. You've been struggling to hire some employees. You get that girl down there, tell you what, man, those would be lining up down the road down there. <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> I tell you what, man, these small towns, man, it just. Kicking in the bucket, man. I tell you what. <clears throat> Kicking that bucket a few times. I tell you what, man. I just don't understand how this would happen in a small town. You'd think people here would just have. You tell me one of them would do it, but the whole dang squad, every last one of them had no values and principles or respect for the police department. And the thing is, if you brought another seven or eight officers, crap, she had 80% of them in the bag. I mean, you bring another bag in there, it's just about 5 or 6% of them. You about just ran through the whole bag down there. I wouldn't even blame the officer. I would just fire her. I wouldn't even. I would just say, I wouldn't hire any more female police officers from this district down here. I'll tell you what. If it was just a bunch of guys, they wouldn't be having this problem. <clears throat> Tell you what, man. Good old country living down there. That one looked like a dang rabid raccoon. He don't even, I don't even know what this girl, but they gonna just, this one right here looked like a rabid raccoon. He don't even look, how, fire, oh, there's more. Oh, I ain't even seen this one yet. This is where they showed who was fired. There's more. Yeah. Look at that girl. No racial prejudice at all. She just ran through the whole crayon box. Mm -hmm. People talk about Tennessee's backwards. That girl right there ain't got no type of prejudice. Not one bit. She got orange, <laughs> black, orange, brand, the whole crayon box down there. That girl is just thinking about no type of discrimination out here, man. I just wouldn't believe a small town like this would do something like this. You'd think a small town like this, things like that wouldn't happen. That's just wild. 
I, I wouldn't even let that bother you. I would. I don't even think that represents this town at all. That's just a weird one-time thing.